Greetings. Welcome to Legacy of Worlds. I am Tome Keeper Devon, and I just want to take some time to thank those who make this show possible. Hero Forge, WizKids, KP11 Studios, Foam Brain Games, and of course, Lynn Vander themselves. But now, the adventure and the stories unfold. The warm familiarity of Elminster's Toril Tower uh, encompasses you once more as you uh, take a brief respite from the encounter with an Athassian Nightmare Beast. Having uh, only two cards remaining, uh, it's a bit of a quiet breath before the plunge. That was the third closest brush to death I've ever experienced. Mm. Is what? it? Is no, not so bad. Is storm there. visited, or has anybody come to the tower since our last? It's only been like a day, so nobody's shown up. Okay, <laughs> dear, dear. Okay, there is there. There was a there was a note for you that said uh, we took care of the sh the Sharans. Uh, thanks for delivering them to to us. Uh, keep on keeping on. Excellent. But we are long resting. Yes, I believe uh, that was the plan. So, <laughs> and I'll replenish my Woo! scrolls, all the ones we've used, and spells. So, uh, during the long rest, you know, as as people are starting to turn in for the night, but Merix is always burning the midnight oil, uh, which is stay as an artificer. I can change a lot of my stuff during a long rest, and so there you are. Uh, and so we get another little montage, mm -hmm. and it's him actually sitting in his chambers, and he's looking at the ruin card to sort of thoughtfully and he's kind of flipping his armor you know back mm -hmm. on and off and he is little still currently stinky he haven't come up with a really better name but now who is like a little merrick's hat on and what's that he thinks about that for a while and then he sets the card down carefully takes off his helmet who takes out a set of tools and now we get the little montage of him like <laughs> And he's changing up his armor, um, which at the end of it, you see him standing up. He's He's got, you know, more of a breastplate than the sort of full plate that he has. And he does sort of tap it and just... So he's removing parts of the armor. He's removing parts of the armor and using them to make something else. And then he, as I say, taps the breastplate and it sort of shimmers back into his suit. So he's glamouring it so it doesn't look... So he's still in armor. It's just not quite as heavy as it was. And then we shift back and... Lil Stinky is now about, you know, has added another six or seven inches and and he sort of taps him and like he armors up and he's like, mm -hmm. you know, that's good. <laughs> he went from one one hundredth scale to one twenty fifth. Exactly. Scale. And sort of sits him. And so in Such the old. morning, <laughs> in the morning, when everyone is, is matching up breakfast and such, he comes out with with little armored stinky on his shoulder who is now saying smite um and uh and he's like hey shadowdale uh this is your tower of many things right mm -hmm. do you have i mean i gotta say i just 
holding that hammer in the last uh, thing, I just, it felt, it felt like good. I wanted to try something new a little. Do you have some kind of crazy, stupid magic weapon around here that you're like just not using? I have this plus three thundering longsword that oh, someone oh, gave me okay. that I have been absent-mindedly carrying around. Yeah, but I'd much true. rather have a staff. I was wondering. Oh, uh, it just falls and yeah. makes noise. Yeah, <laughs> well, clank, clank, clank. And he like, he like, Taps it and you know lightning comes up. He's like, yeah, yeah. You mm -hmm. Mind if I borrow this? Yeah, yeah. you can have it. Right. It is my gift. Why, you may have it. I'm probably wood. covering it in a nice face. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I'll, I'll set it down at home. Elminster is so generous. Huh? Nice She's like, he's hey, uh, you don't get to take any of this stuff with you. Is there anything you want in the tower? I'm going it. to live for like thousands of more years. Yeah, but then I'll have the fun of getting new ones. That's true. From some unwilling you owner. You have a lot of scrolls. I mean, <laughs> oh, what you have can I get no for Toriel? That would be nice Merrick's, for all to have on his character. Well, Merrick's also say, they're going. I was going to say, they do say for new to come in, the old must go. So if you're willing to get rid of the old. Yeah. And... That one actually made some sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, all of them like make sense. What, what do you mean? <laughs> Merrick's, Merrick's also taps his bracer in like a sort of force shield, you know, manifest. So he sort of strikes a little pose. Yeah, I see. I see where you like. Why you like this? So I'm very All right, don't try that. Just so you know. Okay. What's it look like? Looks like a staff of power. Yeah. <laughs> How does I, it now? Yeah, I, don't, <laughs> I don't mean it necessarily. Which it is. Okay, it just staff. looks like it a staff. looks like a staff. Oh, I see. It's got the those flames down the side. Yeah, that's the chrome. It's got the little winking lights here and there. It's got the lock mechanism. I gotta like, say, I like your style here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's much more. And, and when you ground it. It, yeah. It's like all those soldiers in in modern armies on this weird place called Earth. When they're drilling with their weapons, they loosen everything, so it, everything is clang, 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 clatter whenever they... Yeah. And, and this staff does that. <laughs> Can I see your sheet for a moment? Because sure. I think it has the stats on that slide. Oh, I just want to see it. You, you want this page. That's the one. That's staff of clanking. No, no, the, the thundering launch. No, 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 so when you... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm set. All right. Well, we have... We have... A few more of these cards. Thank you, mm -hmm. No problem. We do. Where must we go next? And what is remaining of the two that we know? Remaining, we have the. We have to go back to Kryn. Where the dragons are. Oh, they're going to be happy. Yeah. We need to find the jester card. The jester card there. Yes. Laughing dragons. Well, they would be over our dead bodies, yes. <laughs> the... Unexpected break. <laughs> I can just picture us all laying there and dragons be like, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, you know what? They thought they had us! No, it's, roar, 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 roar. it's because they have just slaughtered us and then said, What's this? <laughs> 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 yeah, we're all laying there. There's just an image of my face, like Oz. And they're all like, oh, fire's coming. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you know what? After four hours, it's going to be, you're going to have to bring them back to life. We need sequels. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, we have proof that dragons think this is hilarious. I mean, this is established. <laughs> the other sure. place we must go is we never, because nobody listens to me. Well, that's how I listen to you all the time. What was that? Did What'd I you do? say? Sorry, I missed it. What did you say? Because nobody <laughs> listens to me. Uh, what? Uh, we must go back to Athos. Oh, yeah. oh, hey. The hot place. We were already oh. there. We could have just, you know, oh, taken Rick. care of things. Personally, I would like to go there yes. until we have to. What kind of card is in that? Well, look, the question becomes, what uh, cards are the ones we still need to I get? I have it right here. Yes. No, we have two that. cards to get. Not that one. One in Athos and one in Right. Athos. But in terms of, do we know which type of cards these are? Are we, we aware of their powers? Are we And which one is more dangerous versus the other? We do not know mm. what the powers are. That's Fair. the problem. But we do know basically the dangers of Athos mm -hmm. because we have been there. We know the dangers of Kryn because we've been there. The place in Kryn we need to go is called the Sea of Blood. You know, say, it sounds great. Well, I oh, think Athos. we've just rested. Decanter of its water. Perhaps we go to the Sea of Blood. This time we're going to hose them with them. Yeah. And then we can formulate a plan for going back. That 
Oh, this is a place. I'm not you, good either. You're not going to like. And and here is the thing. Why don't we do a reading? That always seems to tell us the direction we need to go. Okay. Uh, as they do also say, you can put layers on, you can't take more than your skin off. So if it it's means... It's very hot there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already kind of in my loincloth at this point. The <laughs> Lady of Pain would disagree with you. Tim's <laughs> <laughs> just going to say, we, we saw what happened to that fella. Um, okay, does anybody want to do anything with this deck before I read? I do it. You'll do it? Okay. Okay. So, is that go. the magic words? <laughs> yes. Okay. I've said it in my head the whole time. That time it came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, you did it. That's the bottom. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter. You can do it. All right. Here we go. Overstep. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Okay. The first card is success. Topsy thirty. Okay. Oh, fun. A rebirth. A topsy thirty. Which uh, mm-hmm. kind of fits in this. Um, and with the divine guidance as the last. Now, we are trying to decide where we are going. So our first card is to indicate the direction and whatever. We are not going to have success right. if the following is how I am reading this. Now, drink. The rebirth card is a. Uh, it is a card that shows the skull. This card came up when I was reading you, if you don't mm-hmm. remember, and I was oh, I talking. Now I recall, yes. And and so we need to determine, and my familiarity with Athazan with Kryn is only what we've experienced in the last few days. But it seems that Athas is a place of the uh, hot dryness death yes well as Kryn, although there are problems not so much yeah. i mean i have not been to the sea of blood but um i cannot imagine that it would have the same uh feeling of everything being sucked right out of you like after this and that is the card that i am seeing right here so what you're saying is we will not have a good chance of success if we enter Athos. No, I think... Correct. If we go to Athos now, no success. Uh, no success. Yeah, all right, all right. Here, we have the Divine Guidance card. And you and I use our powers of the Divine. Now, neither one of us, from what you said at least, really believe in the Divine, in gods. Correct. I have my own divinity, you too? I, my faith is in myself. For me, my faith Sunny B. is in myself and also, you know, my faith is in the fates, if you know what I mean. Yes. And so, I think that we need to be the ones, sorry everybody, no, that's fine. Uh, to determine what our guidance is. For me, I know that I believe in the cards. The cards are saying, do not go to Athos now. I, I got my belief right here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> the stuff. What well, do then, you think, Lohold? I, I mean, I have trusted your readings to date, and the logic chart states that perhaps we get the Jester card first. What card is in Athos? Ah, uh, look, your staff has arrived. What card oh, is in Athos? Uh, it mm. seems to not well, be. Most of my staff is invisible. Oh, oh, is this one. Their list? Oh, dear. Um. The horny staff. <laughs> Could there be another staff for you on that? <laughs> Let me just, like that is Let me just place it down where it's safe. That's a cool staff. For some staff. reason, we not... don't need to put anything in the center of the table, do we? Not a moment. Okay, uh, there we go. <laughs> for some reason, neither my memory or Maple's notes. Reveal that last card okay. from Athos. You, you had ascertained this previously. I probably yes. just got missed. Uh, the card on Athos is the Knight card. No, oh, yeah, I remember Knight that. card. Yeah. And, and just checking, that's Knicked or... Uh, yes. yes. Knicked. No, no, no. The Knight card. Knight. Just as, Knight. as Lord Lord Sith wants to start the Nightland. That's right. Nightland. Nightland. All right. Well, to Kryn. To Kryn? Well, Can we... 
I, I got one favor though. Is we go, to, yeah, you first. Well, this is the other question. Can you get us to Athos anyway? I know you can get us to Kryn. Mm. Yeah, I can get us both places. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, if yeah. not, we may need to go back to Fell anyhow. Right. Well, yeah. We could always, yeah, we could always detour to Fell if if it doesn't work for any reason. But no, I've I've been to Athos before. Well, yes. Yeah. We all have gone to meet you. I mean, I don't mean just now. <laughs> yes, I mean, I so, oh, no, the way around. But yes. Okay. Because okay. some okay. stupid idiot decided that elements would be a good play test for them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I. Uh, Shade! Sorry, man. There is one important thing we need to do as we get ready to enter at this, and that is totally to pull out that skull card and just be like, oh, we're going to Athos. Oh, look who gets to go to Athos. I mean, not to Athos, to Kryn. Oh, here we go. Oh, Soth. Kryn wanted to go to Kryn. You really do oh, want to make him angry, don't you? I mean, kinda, purple yeah. fire radiates off the card harmlessly. We told you. We told you we'd take you to Kryn, and now we are. Devin and I were talking about creating uh, rivals that could potentially be a problem in season two. And For boy, sure. you picked a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the mini is so good. Uh, of course. I would course. like to see it on the table. Again. I, I definitely really do think that if I can, I can get him Soth's connected. Bride. But see, it writes itself. I'm I'm just saying, if I can exactly, if I can connect him with Lady Elmero on Eberron, she's a nice Elvish girl. I really think the two of them have a lot in common. They've been through a lot of pain. Maybe they can make each other worse. Maybe I mean, the lady hey, of pain. Who knows? Uh, right. All right. right. We should help each other complete themselves. Exactly. <laughs> right. We are here to help. We are. Yeah. Exactly. Kind of but that doesn't mean we don't get glowed a little bit. <laughs> Going back to Nightlands. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay. I just had to get that out of my system. Elminster, where do we need to go in Kryn, and can you get us there? The Blood Sea of Istar is where you're going. Oh. Is it is it actually a sea of blood, or is it just like red? No. Yeah, you're going to the Blood Sea Isles. All right, that does not answer the question. The question, the question is, iron is, it, is the sea made of blood no. or water? No. It is not made of blood. I don't know. It's it has I iron never tang met. in the water, and it looks red because of the iron. So sure. Oh yeah. I mean, there is there is uh, the red clay was disturbed. So the blood sea, and you can get this from the notes and combination of what Elminster would know. The blood sea of Istar used to be called Istar, and then um, the people of Istar decided that they were the ones who decided what was good. And that everything else was good. Uh, wasn't according to what they said was good was not good, uh, and so they began to rid the world of what was not good, and the gods uh, started to get a little annoyed with this because they then were saying, well, now we must ascend to godhood to continue the fight against everything that is not good. The gods sent thirteen warnings. One of those was sent to Lord Soth, who failed to deliver the warning. Thus, uh, he did. Does it say if they, they got rid of radishes? Because I hate radishes. I mean, they it doesn't really specify. <laughs> okay, carry on. Um, oh, that's <laughs> However, <laughs> when Specific the uh, when these thirteen warnings failed, as Istar believed that they were just. Uh, it was more evil propaganda trying to sway them from the true and good path. Uh, the gods removed Istar. All right. And what is left of it is called the Blood Sea. That's, see, that is where it was. And it, it does have red clay that has been disturbed from when everything was, was pulled out and then the iron. And so it does give it this red connotation, but it's not actually blood. I mean, because I've read most of that in Maple's notes, but my whole thing was it could have been the blood of the people of Istar turned no, into a sea. I mean, that I'm just terrible. saying we've seen a lot of crazy stuff yes, out true. here. I am, we're a bloodless. Mess. I am not as nervous about this anymore. I mean, Tell me there isn't a blood sea somewhere in, in you know, that An place you spend a little time in. There is you know. not a blood there, sea. Of it. Blood lake? Blood stream? Because, I mean, there's got to be a blood stream somewhere. The, the, there I is, mean, there's lots of blood. Yeah. There isn't much known about um, Istar other than that they had advanced magic technology, um, but currently the blood sea is inhabited mostly by minotaurs. Oh, kind of fun. Oh. Right. All right. Well, let's say uh, Minotaurs are great. Yeah. I got lay with them constantly on the Mario. They had to actually a, good. Former acolytes. Yes. Yeah, you had some acolytes there. <laughs> Minotaurs are fantastic. No problem. Yeah. This is not a problem. Let's go. Oh. Bloody tub. To be fair, we also had bugbears and hobgoblins and other yeah, stuff. Yeah, and uh, we met ones that were not the same. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know Noel's orcs. Mm -hmm. 
you know, in America, they're we're good people. Exactly. Yeah, in America, they're good people. Why wouldn't they be good people? Right, right. I don't understand why people think to think yeah. that. Well, right. so let's have look at, let's, let's have one last look at Maple. We have Matt, a good person here because I have not been to the middle of Thank you. this area or even near this area. So I better have a good look at the islands if we're. And I don't know if we're just going to pick the largest one or what. Or Is it the map? Well, yeah. you can base it based off of the, the I, data. Mm. I'm up. I'm up. Okay, so we'll pick that island, unless anyone has an objection. Nope. I feel like you have been possessed by Mel. <laughs> because he sang that same song. Oh, the, the little children of our, of our former place used to sing it whenever we pulled out oh. maps. I don't know what it was from, but it seems lovely. <laughs> and it had a moment of recollection. Oh. That's right. Plane shift. <laughs> and you're choosing the blood, the blood sea isle. Uh, yeah. So the, the, the it's the largest okay. blood sea isle okay. location. And I'm uh, casting yeah. from the scroll. Okay. So I now have only five plane shift scrolls with me. Just going to tease this one. You won't begin to appear. The first thing you feel is the saline air, the salt. Washing the scent of it, uh, the 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 waves crashing against rocks and grass. That delightful saline air. That's right. Smell <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> Once again, purple fire erupts from the card harmlessly. Mm, all right. The image on the card of the reaper, the two eyes begin to glow fiercely. You could have been one of the sunny bees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. You could have delivered uh, the message. Yeah. How many years late is it now? There is the sound of. Of uh, water um, crashing, and um, off in the distance, you can see ships, uh, very well crafted, beautiful navy vessels, uh, and moving up and down on the decks in the distance, you can make out the, the the horned silhouettes of minotaurs, who are currently appear to be engaged in battle with some massive beast erupting from the water, who is screaming at them to pay tribute and they're mostly saying no with guns and, and with, with with their billy stay and, and crossbows how and far away are the ships oh it's a, a fair bit away off the coast but um as you all appear to witness this uh a voice comes from directly next to where you all just appeared well, it took you long enough. Oh, hello. As you turn to see a uh, white-bearded man with a conical blue hat and similar cloak with several canaries buzzing about his head. Oh, this hey, man. is that you? Ah, I was wondering when you'd get here, old Ellie. Yeah. It took you long enough. I was expecting you here. Well, no, actually, you're right on time. A wizard is all you... <laughs> <laughs> the friend. Fizzban the Fabulous, at your service. I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, doing a little sniff and just being like, oh, we're going to call you non-sticky beard. Like, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's honey. Moral beard. Honey beard. He's, honey, like, listen, he's honey beard. Listen, if you're going to do the whole nickname thing, just yeah. use Ziffnab. Ziffnab. Okay. All right. I like it. I've already got one. All right. Ready to go. In well, the chamber. Well, well Lindander, nice to meet you, Fizzban. Yes, it's a pleasure to put a face to the name. Uh, oh, you've heard of me. Oh, yes, your quest is quite well known among various folks and uh, certain peoples that I keep company with. You are well known. Your name proceeds. In fact, I've been waiting here for a while for you to appear. Um, well, one of the exactly most powerful right. wizards you'll ever meet. Oh, he tends to gloat. He over-exaggerates a little bit. I thought you were the most powerful wizard. No, far from it. Not what, this guy? With him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, uh, you want a tattoo? You want to join the Sunny Bees? We got, uh, we got room for more. We just, see just stars want in in a day's eyes. Is it would you like to join? Oh, I'm I'm quite all right, thank you. But oh. I think that I'm I, holding you're it on. doing a very good job of recruiting people. I believe. Oh, thank you. I have made several great new students. Custard. Custard sounds lovely. Your expectation of us being here is a bit unnerving. Is this? Well, I don't see why not. Well, he knows how wizards work, right? Yeah. Well, well, it's it's Lowholt Lindvander. Oh Here. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want, okay, I want this, to see this. This for actually, real. but this actually <laughs> is the thing of him singing on sickle. Oh, that's quite lovely. <laughs> Where's the other one? Ah! <laughs> 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 
You are just in real life. Okay, I don't want to say that. Let's have a good laugh. I really want to thank. That's so funny. Uh, haven't you ever seen? It really is, though. It's the. It's so marvelous. It's just reality hitting an adventure in the face. It. It never gets old. It, it right. really doesn't. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, Fizzman, being that you're so all powerful, you've already got this all figured out. That's probably. Oh, why would I do that? That's what you're here for. Oh, thank you. Did you get the card for us? Oh wait, let me let me guess. Let me just try this try this out. Uh, now I'm now I'm seeing where this is going. You're like the most powerful wizard around. Like even more powerful. Than this guy. Wait, uh, yeah, let me try. And yet you are going to sort of stand in the background and guide a group of spunky adventurers to actually solve the problem. That's more his stick. Doing it yourself. Part of me is thinking he's just going to give us the card, and yeah. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so I already got it. Here you are. Well, he is sort of. For God, you know. Yeah, well, fair enough. Yeah. I, 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 so this is what a looks thing. like. What did he saw? He does not look people. like a god to me. They deserve to know the truth when they put their feet in it. All right. Fizban. <laughs> but why? That's no fun. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. You, I owe you. <laughs> you, you really do, though. We should really see about one. returning <laughs> some of that debt. Uh, by the way, tell that mook you've got spying on me to get a little bit further back. They're cramping my style. <laughs> oh, that's not my spy. Right. That's, what you that's, that's Tam's spy. Uh -huh. My spy is the guy with his hand up that... Oh. <laughs> oh, that makes perfect sense, yeah. actually. Yeah. Uh, Don't think. <laughs> I never asked. <laughs> yeah. Never, never. Don't ask. Don't ask. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so, we believe that, uh, honey bear, great to great to meet you. What's our uh, what's the plan here? What do you got for us? I do oh, oh well, if you look over there, you'll I'm see the right. Minotaurs are currently engaged with some kind of creature. I believe it's called an Onshalen. Oh hey. And Fun. the card is there. Oh yes, yes. The Onshalen has. It. Yeah, correct. That's easy. Oh, it's uh, such a lovely day to watch a naval skirmish, don't you think? Yes. So I don't even need to use my lo locate object. Fine. In a day. I was just going to suggest that uh, that uh, uh, Elise had something to say, but uh, well, he just answered my question, so I don't. I'm need very to good at doing that. Uh, yeah, apparently I was. Uh, Sometimes answer going when... to ask you if uh, a particular type of beast that I know you are familiar with might show up and have the card, but you just made that unnecessary. What can you tell? You're welcome. What? You know, on Crit, we show gratitude when old elderly people give you advice. Oh, yeah, here. Uh, sometimes when advice is given no, without asking. Don't insult it with money. You really just said gratitude. Uh, okay. I prefer so, platinum oh, anyway. Thank you. Thank you is what you're saying. Thank you very much. See, now, was that sort of custard? <laughs> sure. So, uh, well, I'm, I'm carefully putting that into so, a sealed container <laughs> and something to put in the back. If I give you this staff... That's a nice staff. Yeah. If I give you, it looks a lot like a staff of power. It does. It looks like the keyword out there. Yeah. Uh huh. If I give you the staff, could you just teleport the Unshalen to that dry land over there for us? Oh. Okay, but you gotta do something for me. What? I've been trying to figure out this latest intricacies of the spell, and I know you've perfected turtle soup. <laughs> turtle soup. Here's a scroll. Thank you. This is a, Here, here's a backup scroll. There, there we go. When yes. You get turtle soup on the first I, I, one. You know, I, it's it's been very tricky. I, I I'll tell you what. Do you do you enjoy? Uh, do you enjoy? You enjoy the turtle soup, but have you ever tried tortoise stew? I because the turtle soup is quite difficult for me, but the tortoise stew. That seems to be the holy grail of this whole business. Is that oh. not the same thing? No, 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 no. No, no, no. 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 the difference it's between a turtle and a, a tortoise. tortoise. Indeed. And it, they're, they're, they're it's too, it's totally, too, different. totally different. Totally different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It was just lightning. <laughs> I died this. But this sounds not to be us. Totally different. Oh. Uh, oh, it's to be said. How fun. <laughs> <laughs> that you never see, happens. You see the tortoise. <laughs> the idea is you prepare the fire, 
And as the tortoise starts to go away from you, you just use sticks to gently turn it so it walks into the fire. <laughs> so, dark. see, then you have to sear the tortoise. I forgot how dark you can be sometimes. <laughs> yeah, this well, I'm not selfish. You take the shell off, and then then you pour the tortoise. That was a good retort. In <laughs> <laughs> into the boiling water. So, I saw a very thick shell. I'm just ignoring all of this. <laughs> oh, um, Poor and, the day. He's just like, what am I doing with these people? Oh, he's just like, well, that's a, an option. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How was the custard? I enjoyed it. It was delicious. Very good. You can keep the bowl. It's edible. Oh. It's tortoise. Oh. <laughs> I was vegetarian. Oh, am I giving away another trick? Stop giving away all the surprises! Oh, all right. I think I'm going to be like, like yeah, yeah, there's, there's, there's a whole California. naval battle going on. Yeah, yeah, can we get a move on here? I mean, this turtle stuff is great. You know, I love a good pun, but. Well, uh, seeing as you've been so kind to give me turtle soup and a staff that it looks like a staff of power, but it's very much not a staff of power. Mm -hmm. Um. But it looks like it does it look looks like. amazingly like a staff. If I ever need to f to, to pose as Fizzban the Fabulous and his great staff of power, this is exactly what I would need. In fact, I might even use this uh, as a good walking stick. It's quite sturdy. Walking yeah, is dirty. Did, I, did you just, it really is. It's really far better is. than flying. Yeah. Did you just have that for some like publicity shoots or something like that? Like you know, someone comes and make some sketches, and you're well, like, I'm sure hey. you'll see it on him shortly. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes, uh, I I can find other things to fight with, but you will put this to much better use than I will. Oh, I certainly will. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, it'll help me climb the mountains that I've been, my old knees, right? You know, I mean, you understand. You Which is just great. teleport. Yeah. Oh, and you don't get to it. You see, you enjoy the journey more when you actually take it. You should start listening more to your monk. He makes very good sense. I'm making a note of that again. Thank I need monk much as we're doing this. He it's does. Happening. I, yes. I, 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 I keep the ones you didn't understand. One day you I write my down. Opens, you will. I say, wow. What? What time dilation does to your brain? <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Well, you probably should slow down a little bit on that, actually. What it, is, well, time is relative. What is slow to one is fast oh, to another. Oh, I'm one starting one to see slow. it. Yeah, okay. But which of your relatives do you want to be? <laughs> well, there was my grandfather. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we go. Okay, can we? <laughs> As we're walking, he's just going off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know it's my cousin's sister. All right, so, cousin. here we go. Just to be clear, you want, you want that? On Shalen mm -hmm. to be here on land. Yeah. The thing that lives in the water. Yeah. To be here on the land. Yeah. Just over there. Wouldn't that make it easier for us to combat it? Yeah. I suppose if that's what you want to do. Uh huh. Well, I you need to get the card from it. Well, of course. And I, I, mean, don't, I don't. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, I'm just asking because it would be really stupid of us not to ask. Very well. If you could teleport Dean Shalen over here, could you just teleport the card over here? Oh, yes. Well, then. How about that? Well, that's far too easy for you. Okay, fair enough. I mean, we're well, trying to, I to I save the to world. Fizzbad. A magic Good. everywhere. It was it Fizzbad? And so you see Lobo, like, he's very awkwardly doing this, but he saw Melf do this to Carmeris in the past. So he'll just do that, like, the, the, he'll mimic Melf almost perfectly in the bow to the to a god. He yes, yes. Great Fizzbad. Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> there is a grave universal problem that we're trying to solve, and time is a thing that <laughs> is fickle to you, apparently. <laughs> and I would like to just resolve this as quickly as possible without abusing your great power. You get pudding. <laughs> You want me to hold that for you? All right, what on Shalen coming right up, and then you can stab and punch and crush and do whatever it is you people do to things that are in but the over way. there, not on top of us. Over there. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, it's like one of those things where you got to make sure you're in. Yeah, yeah. Bippity boppity boop. <laughs> then we're going to roll initiative. All right. Uh, so you get, you get advantage on initiative now, right? That's right. All right. So As my shield flares into... Uh, well, luckily so, because I got a natural 20 for you. Whoa. Uh, at least I rolled one for you. I, I like see it. that. Thank you very much for rolling me a one. A five for in a day. Uh, 13 nice. for Elminster and two for me. Uh, you also get the plus seven. Do you all get the plus seven except uh, for Elminster? No. So what do we have for Lobo? Uh I'm going to be 15. Okay, and what do we have for Elise? 
Well, one plus seven is eight because he wrote me a one. Yep. I know, I've been rolling a lot. What's a your, one. wait, what is your regular initiative? Zero. <laughs> have wait, you not what? been paying no, attention? I'm I did not catch that. <laughs> it's a day. Uh, it's also 15. 15? Mm -hmm. You're a bit faster than Lowell. Mm -hmm. You see, in the premise sure. of my character is I used to be quite dexterous. Uh, right. well, I, I, I mean, I'm <laughs> yeah. 29 for Merrick's. Yikes, that's great. Oh, uh, no. For the old man, 17. Okay. Oh, I, I'll need to that old man. Yeah, yeah yes, of course. Yeah, there's there's another older one there. That's now. right. <laughs> yeah, well, true. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's, he just gets initiative count 20. Sometimes when you are reborn, you see, you lose some of your... Uh, you, you get up and go, got up and went. You're not good at anymore, and some things you never knew mm -hmm. you could be good at, you are suddenly good at. Yeah, any So, as Fizban uh, gestures, gesticulates, and uh, pr uh, pros I don't know, uh, as as he <laughs> does a little jig, um, the uh, on Shailen is bamfed over onto the land as it's immediately racked with confusion and struggling to find itself uh, footing on this strange foreign location. These militars were fighting it. Yes. That's right. You're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are up with Merrick, who is first to react. Okay, so first of all, just, uh, yeah. I was just going to ask, does that mean it's pro? Considered? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. What, oh. yeah, tell us about this thing. Like, what do we fine. see, actually? It appears to be a large... A uh, serpentine creature with uh, kind of fins and uh, scales, but it is, it, while it does have a bestial appearance with spines running along the back and um, uh, sort of a horns, and, and uh, it, it is definitely aquatic in its, in its uh, appearance, it has strangely, its eyes glower with an intelligence of humanity and uh, it is not. It, it is roaring, but not in in like a, in like a furious, bestial way. More so, it is assailing a string of curses in many different languages um, that are all native to uh, the land the Anshalan is from. Uh, so, I do have. I want the sun. Yeah, I won't be repeating them in play company. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand. Well, you understand. If I'm not mistaken, this one has a good naming convention. I think it's just called the Serpent. The Leviathan. The Leviathan, okay. I knew it was something of just simple, yeah. The Leviathan, yes. Really quickly before Merrick does all of his fancy and schmancy things, I would like to say to Fizban, hey Fizban! Yes! You are an expert on dragons and dragon guy. Who told you that? I've heard many stories from many travelers. Oh, they all about exaggerate. The great treasury sure. of dragons that you may have. Don't uh, listen to a word Volo says. And so, because of this, can you please tell us what this thing might be, I don't know, immune to, or what we should look out for? You know all about it. Well, it doesn't like custard. <laughs> How about something that's a little bit useful. more helpful? All right, got all right, it. Merrick. Yeah, got it. Okay. Um, really? Well, it's not your turn. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, uh, I actually I meant to do this before. Uh, but I, you know, I didn't get around to it, but, you know, no time like the present. So I was going to charge in there, but you, you, I'll let you do that first. Um, so I found this scroll in the library. Mm. It just sounds like, I'm like, you couldn't just leave. Well, first off, haste. Uh, hence, I'm going to now take a, um, uh, scroll use action. Yeah, you know, so haste. Pull out a scroll, bonus action, uh, and say, I mean, this seems like it's just too good to just be wasted on it, but here it is, so I'm going to try it, and it is the spell Foresight. Oh, snap, okay. Uh, so, as far as I understand reading this, it just, oh my goodness, I, I, I see everything. I see, I see the future. I see it all moments ahead. And it is a scroll that, uh, for the duration of the effect, gives you advantage on attack rolls, saving yep. throws, yep. skill checks, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you can't be surprised. You have the advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws. And other creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls against you for the duration. And so, so just looking at that, and, and again, just, wow! 
Why? Why? <laughs> Why is this just in the library? Uh, okay, and... I can see through time! See through time! <laughs> um, and actually, even though we are in a, a very tight little, easily breathed upon pack, I like being next to your... Oh, I assume you're gonna move when you can. Oh, you Sorry. Fist bang. And I killed Here, we can do it for you. Ah! I've got room to get it for you. Catch them. I will walk up towards him. Oh, oh that's just really rude. Sorry about that. So, uh, so yeah, basically, uh, adventures, remember? Uh, Ace, Jing, uh, and then cast Foresight, and you see as he does that, because he's hasty. Foresight is, I believe, a concentration effect, though I could be yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. Uh, it should be, if it's not. <laughs> uh, oh, for no, crying no. out loud. No. Uh, anyhow, uh, you see uh, Stinky's like eyes kind of glow, um, and then he he's got the crazy sword and shield, and he's like, okay, I guess let's nope. wander up, see what this is about. Well, that's ridiculous, but yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah. The last line of the spell is: this spell immediately ends if you cast it again before its duration ends. Sure. There's no way you could cast another spell and keep your concentration up. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah, I mean, so, it doesn't say concentration. Yeah. Uh, that's why it's right. level. Yeah, no, I'm not, arguing. I'm not arguing with that. Uh, and I'm just like, damn, that is exactly what it appears to be on the tin, and okay. Wow. Um, so I am walking up, and uh, and I'm like, Stinky, uh, you stay out of trouble. And Stinky is actually going to crawl up on the rock and just sit at Fizzman's foot. Aww. And just Aww. Say, ah, so good. And he just You're kind of creepy. And he just looks up at you because he is steel and such, but he's kind of a warforged, so he's kind of partially organic, and he just looks up at him and he's like, Custard? Oh, yes! Uh, uh, ooh, yeah. Hey, what? <laughs> so, little Uncle told Merrick's, me I get custard today. Uh, yeah. Have to get custard. Little, little Armor Merrick's is eating custard at Fizzbin's foot. And that's Try it. That. It's a new recipe I've been working on. Uh, so, so Not again, I mean... pepper custard. It's just you. I you walked right up. I'm just walking right up to it, and I'm like, I think this is how this works. You know, <laughs> like, I've got this sword and shield out. Oh, my... I oh, believe. my Fizzbad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Look at me. I'm an adventurer, Mom. <laughs> I do believe we need to do our training session. Congratulations. Yeah, I look, I look at it and I, oh, we got to go help him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, this is this is what he does. He sends people out to hit people with sticks. It's kind of stupid, but here we are. All right. Um, the Leviathan will rear up as best as it can while still kind of flopping a little bit around on uh, on the ground. You will not take my tribute. And the waters begin to rise higher and higher and on, higher on shore? and higher oh. and higher as the entire tidal wave crashes against the shoreline. Oh, I mean, my. See, I really, I really <laughs> hoped you were going to walk up close to me before that happened. I should have stayed back. There. I don't have any initiative but, for but, oh, I know. The good thing is, Stinky, Fistband, and Elminster are entirely unaffected yeah. because Fizzbad's standing there. There's no way he's getting a bath unless he wants it. 250 foot tall wave, 50 foot wide, crashes into the seafront. Yeah, it's like, holy Fizzbad. Why do you think I sent Stinky over? Uh, I'm like, I just want him to stay out of trouble. I'll save for everyone who's not on Fizzbad's rock. <laughs> what kind of save? Strength. Strength. You will, get, uh, you will get the plus from me. And oh, that me. looks like it'll be rather wet. Uh, and I just put these on today. Boop. Yeah. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> Do I also get the... Uh, so yeah, I was I was at least I get my she has the most beautiful eyes. Oh, do Six tell. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. All right. Were they like uh, proper eyes or are we talking like, you know, the pupils were, oh, well, they were slightly proper dilated? Eyes, but they were, you know how chefs say disassembled? Yes. So the lens was floating in the aqueous oh. humor and then the pupil all floating in these little, little bits of rain kind of coming down a little bit. Uh, Merrick's definitely is, is like doing this because again, this is just so crazy with the uh, gain advantage on saving throws. Like I'm like seeing it in two ways. Like I could stand there or I could stand there. Oh, here. And uh, so I have a 25. Okay. What do we have for Elise? 26. Mm. Okay. 26. 26. I am very strong. Uh, 30. Okay. Yeah. And he's, if it says, you see him literally just standing there, kind of just like this, and 
almost like exactly how my figure would do it. Just as the wave crashes, it's literally him like surfing, surfing the wave, <laughs> like so, like without even like doing. Uh, any so the anything. wave does crash just before it crashes. Oh, you suspend. Are you including Fizzbam? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, so, wow. Now this is interesting. So the water's like the water's like this on us. It's amazing. And I'll be like, I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> you did. Do you ever? Do you ever get the impression that um, you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time? Actually, no. You're in the right place at the right time. I've never had this experience before. What? You That's are. clearly obvious. <laughs> uh, should we pray about explain this whole thing to the dragon? You know, he can do this thing, it's called Chronomant, you know, I'm That's gonna say start taking him on something we may have to That's, no, I don't, I'm, not, I'm confused. I just need a moment, because I don't necessarily like my helmet to be rusted after this, so... Oh. I just wanted to say... Take it off! It's not. <laughs> yeah, 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 what you got? Why do you got protection over there, Alminster? Do not let this go just yet, we need Fisben to answer my question. This is, well, just hurry, because I've got many... Answer my seconds. question! Please. Well, well, now we're getting a little bit better. Dearest Fizzban. Ah, here we are. The most fantastic of wizards of all time. And fabulous. And fabulous. <laughs> Could you please tell us, in your infinite wisdom on all things dragons, what this thing is? Uh, immune to, vulnerable to, uh, what we can do to try to take it down with our resources, please. Well, when you put it that way and ask so lovely like, I suppose I could say that I would avoid using anything that is cold, acid, or poison. No cold, no acid, no poison, well, okay. Sounds good. We can hear him. And anything Does he else? take two punches? What about the reverse? What would do more damage? Ah, uh, probably just try hitting it really hard. Oh, okay. I'm cool. No, no poison. Where's the cards? Where's the cards? Where's the cards? As the wave cascades across you, you're going to take uh, only 45 bludgeoning damage. Is that, 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 that for those who saved? That's right. Is that a Because everyone saved? Damage? It's bludgeoning. But that is that force. You'll be, ha you'll be having it. It's bludgeoning. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Oh, I'm right in the stance. And you will not be knocked pro. Uh, 40 what? 45. Oof, five. Oof, we all Man, that would have been a gross 90 if we didn't pass that second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's going to be its action. <laughs> so. Is it moving at all? or? Uh, I think it'll move a little bit closer towards the water uh, without getting an opportunity to attack from Merrix, if, if that's oh, a threat. With yep. or without? I mean, I'm holding the sword. It's, it's moving in the way. It's going to move to try not to do that. It can oh, move okay. up to 40 feet on land. Oh, so, so if it's it too far away from me, yeah, got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would like to go into the water, please. Oh, we would like to go in. It would very much like to go in the water. Okay. <sighs> ah, the powers of Azrai flow through me again. We need to make this water go away. Mm -hmm. well, that's an interesting concept. Why don't you guys just wish the water away? Um, we are now at uh, Fizzban's turn. Zippity doo da! What an entertaining bit of things. You know what? I see why you travel with them. They're quite nice. They're, 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 not, they're not too bad. Uh, none of them got. They all got soaking wet, but yet, uh, you know, they're a bit of a black eye, but that's all right. They ask a lot of questions, though. Well. I'd like to ask one too. Oh, why don't you wait until your turn? Yes, I will. <laughs> I will. I'm just forewarning you. I've been infected with the same questionitis. Ah, well, that does tend to be the case. Well, it's called inquiritis. <laughs> inquiritis. Uh, the uh, okay. <laughs> the Leviathan is he twenty feet away from Merrick's? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. His tail will whip up out of the water, swinging itself directly towards me. Let's see if that shield protects you now. I think right. Yeah, about 20. That's a 21 to hit. Nope. Okay. But as it does so, you see acid burn away the now, ground. In fairness, I will say again, actually, like again, my armor isn't quite as good as it used to be. I don't have the same shield I have, but I actually have a shield. And I'm like, Bleom. oh, wow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's what that's about. Like Arms a little it. sore, but you made it. Like it. Okay. Uh, I, did you remember, by the way, he has disadvantage against me? Yes, that's why you missed Okay, good. Just me. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, and then we have, yeah, so now it is Elminster's turn. 
You had a question, I believe. Yeah, I feel like now is a good time. Where's the cutter? On ah, the see, that is what she really should have been asking. Yes, I, 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 I was expecting that I to be the question, so. but uh, instead she asked for silly things like resistances and immunities. I mean, who cares? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I understand. I care. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, no, um, it appears that Son Shalen used to hang out uh, in the Anurian lands, constantly asking for tribute every so years or whatever, when it wasn't going around trying to devour the blooded. Um, and as such, it, it considers it part of its hoard, its tribute, and it would be clutching it very close to its heart, its chest. It oh. has like lots of little tentacles or something like that. Uh, it's, got, it's got like like some scaly spines and um, oh, it likely be wedged somewhere within its body. Oh, within. Inside. Well, you won't be able to get inside it. You'll have to like rip it out. Got you. Oh dear. Okay. Thank you. No, oh, no problem. Right. Which is why it's important to know what so, it is vulnerable to. I pull the silver fire around. <laughs> Oh, that's very nice. I zap it for um, radiant damage. All right. Oh, God. It, uh, the fire washes over as it brings water up to kind of t t somewhat dampen the effect, but it still is going to take uh, half Four the damage. Oh, f half the damage? Yeah. So whatever half of 45 is. Okay. Um, radiant damage. <laughs> then I'm going to... Master of Magic. Um, cast one spell. And I'm going to cast Disintegrate. <laughs> on right about head. where Yeah. You think the card should be? Uh no, I don't wanna I don't wanna <laughs> around it. I'm what just, about okay. the okay. face? <laughs> I'm I'm doing doing a little circle around no, the I was thinking of taking its head off. Brain. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. it's brain. Yeah. I'm disintegrate at its head. Okay. Jesus. Oh, it will attempt to dodge. Uh, with dex. Uh, 16, I'm assuming, will not do it. No, will not. Is it a, a creature of, of legend? Well, I guess not, so we were just talking about it. Well, since you made the saving throw. It's, I mean, it's an on Shalen. Right. It, it's technically a person. Mm hmm. Does it have legendary resistance? Well, it already done. burned one to to deal with the silver fire. Oh, I got it. Uh, so as the disintegration ray flies towards its face, question is, does it think? You know what? Yeah, I think it, it it's starting to realize that Elminster is becoming a threat. So it will. Its head will sort of rescind back as water as your ray flies through and then it will reconstitute the head once more like a turtle so the legendary sure. resistance yes. totally yes. the same okay yeah. <laughs> okay so you burned two of its legendary resistances yes he did mm -hmm. that's massive yes uh which will then take us to inoday but before okay. that happens the tail whips out towards uh elminster this time mm-hmm well, my pipe with its tiny little umbrella shape from all the forces there. <laughs> uh, let's see. So it's going to be a 28. With, the, with, its, uh, with its tail whipping out. Whip, 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 whipping out. Whipping out. Whip, whipping out. Why did you say it like that? Whip. Whip. Whip it good. <laughs> uh, so the rocks that you are standing on crumble and give way, sliding you into the water. It's all right. I can uh, breathe underwater and everything. Cut silver fire. That's right. Um, oh, well, uh, have a good swim. Ah, okay. I was going to say it didn't affect Fizzbat. Oh, God. Okay. Because <laughs> I thought if it did, he'd get rather annoyed. No, he kept his yeah. take care yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And instead, he kept him and Stinky safe. That's right. Okay. Okay. Cut your it's really good. Yeah, the tail comes, like, hits the ground, slides the rock away, mm -hmm. into the water you go. Mm -hmm. With It's just where it is, but in a day. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. And well, well, it's like in a day. Yeah. Get around to the front of it. I'll get around the other side. We'll take it out from there. Sounds great, but I thought we were going for the chest area where it's hot should be. That's why you have to go around. Okay, okay. I don't know what you both flank on. It's not in the air area. No, no, it's in the water now. It's in the water now. So, um... 
All right, so uh, can you? I'm gonna move. Uh, what is it? I'm right here. So yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five. One more if you can. Oh, I can easily. Yeah. Twelve. That's six. I can do another ten. Yeah, if you go there and kick its ass, I can get a flank on it. Well, it blood thieves. Oh, are we stealing something from you? Will steal the blood by piercing my heart. No, right. will I allow this? Oh, this is great. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. we are. Well, <laughs> yes, yes. Unless yes, if you're yes, willing to that. give us the card that is in, inside it, which I okay. How about your way then? <laughs> uh, and uh, so uh, yeah, okay. I don't need to jump. All right, cool. So from there, uh, that was my movement. I will use one action to go empty body. Okay. I was gonna have to be like, all right, well, sounds great. And then just boop. Uh, so that was one. Uh, Where have you gone, blood thief? Uh, and then I'll use one more to go into my my uh, stance. Mm-hmm. Uh, in my second action. Uh, and then using, uh, I have, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, action search. Action search. <laughs> and so, uh, my next two with my bonus action is to strike it right into the heart. Uh, actually, no. First one, I'll try to do stunning strike. Oh, okay. Uh, so noise. Yeah. If nothing else, she'll burn some more legendary. Absolutely, that's what we're doing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Did it? Did it? Did it? Ooh. Uh, that is a uh, twenty to hit. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, heck yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and he is now stunned. Oh, well, actually, what do I need to... What you need to make a save, but you also have uh, yeah, 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 you get to jump inside. You must succeed on the constitution yep. save. Yep, yep. No, so that's... Yeah. Are you punching, kicking, kneeing, hit Oh, uh... Face fisting? I would like to try face, face fist. fist. Yeah, oh, I, that's I, awesome. I'm Check. just that's a vision. Just grabs the skills. Yeah. Well, 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 you do that well, as the, the stunning mark ricochets around, it seems to have no effect. Oh! He's still moving, so yes, yes, yes. I see him still moving. Well, that didn't work. Does it still deal damage? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, okay. Uh, that's uh, still a regular unarmed strike, right? Yeah. Yes. So my D8. Uh, 6 damage. Okay. There. Uh, and then on my next attack, uh, I do have advantage, by the way. Yeah. Because I'm in, uh, if, as yeah, a yeah, 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 yeah. stance, I have. You're everywhere, everywhere at once. Yeah, uh, and so let's see. Ooh, heck yeah! That's gonna hit. That's gonna hit. But I want to see if I can get a crit. Yes, yes, fish, fish. No. So twenty-eight to hit on that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a uh, eight damage. Okay. For now. What a cool visual. Is this orc just like dish, 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 dish. Yeah, just <laughs> giant sea monster. What are you? The second one. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. That was Flurry of Blows. So, another. Another! Another! That, is that a one or two? Yep, it's one. Ah, damn it. So, another five. Dash. Okay. And you're still invisible, I think. I'm still. That's right. Okay. Uh, which then... will bring us to Low Holt. Okay, so Lobo, uh seems gonna die, go around. Uh, Turn invisible. He looks at me, wings kind of yeah, creates yeah. a bunch of them, so I get this advantage thing. And now Loho oh, yeah. going to uh, run 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And for visual, uh, you see the water kind of splash up with this this like weird watercolored cog of glassy time. And uh, Lobo jumps off the remaining of the rock and just like sword in the air. Smashes through the glass, and I'll use bonus action celerity to give myself the extra attack. And then proceed to drop three attacks on this thing at advantage. Attack number one, uh, 28 to hit. Uh, yes. Attack number two, critical. Nail. Oh. Nail. Attack number three, uh, 27 to hit. Yes. All right, the first one, I'm dropping a second like this. My advantage is for everybody, but you have to do. Melee, it's for only melee attack. Nice. Uh, 13 Amber Fang. 17 Radiant. The second one I'm dropping a fourth level swing to do. 
So, so the radiant is going to be 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, 21, plus, oh my gosh, 21. Hell yeah. 31, 36, 42, 47 radiant. <laughs> and 7 and 9, uh, 16 amber fang. And the third one, I'll drop my last four couple, so I did two. Oh, oh my god. 10, 23 radiant, and 19 amber fine. And I stab into like its back hide, sliding it to the front as best as I can, and then just I'll be underneath it, just in the water, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, that's trying to cut the car out for the heart. Scales beginning to fly off as you cut into the meat of this creature and it writhes around the water splashing about and its tail thrashing directly towards you. That's my turn. Uh, does the 38 hit? <laughs> no. No. Uh, hold on. Carry the one. Yeah, the shield. <laughs> Minus four. Plus one. Carry. Yeah, it hits. <laughs> uh, uh, you are going to take... Uh, let's just give you the total here. Uh, as it slams into you for 32 bludgeoning. Yep. And then uh, the acid spews forth from its between its scales, uh, which deals an additional 18 acid damage. Okay. <laughs> eye for an eye, I see. <laughs> uh, and with that, it takes us to Elise. Yes. I am going to um, action surge and get and go um, under the water. I'm going to okay. basically walk underneath. Look who doesn't breathe. The water because I do not breathe and get right underneath it. Right positioning myself. Can you imagine being able to take a bath and not ever having to come up and just submerging in the hot, hot water? Back away. Off at the bubble bath mm-hmm. bomb. Oh, yeah. And then I would will be swing. Lovely. And then you could point to being alive. <laughs> Make reborn is so much better. Attack straight with, into its heart. Right. With right. advantage. Hello, hot stuff. I should have whispered it because I don't want him to know anything. It's more like. By the way, Bubbles. I know I have advantage anyway, but I mean, I don't want it to know necessarily that I'm there. By the way. So, are you, do you want to try to do like a called attack? Is that what you would like to try? That's what I did. But. Yes. Into a turn. Yeah, okay. So, you're aiming. Okay, got it. Go for it. I should have extra advantage because I'm also surprised. <laughs> and is flick and is. Uh, everywhere. Yeah. You're saying there's a lot of things yeah. going on right now. So roll your advantage. <laughs> also, I'm using my maneuvers, which also gives it, uh, also gives advantage. Are you an elf? No. Nope. Then you don't get 3 to 20. <laughs> what did you roll? Okay. I have a 31 to hit. Yes. Sadly, the damage is not the greatest. Wait, what did I do here? Oh, no, no, it's fine. 9, 12... Plus six is 18, tw- 23. Damage? Yeah, and also um, half to the grave. All slashing damage is now uh, vulnerable. Mm-hmm. You start to hear like a, a big deal. Kind of a pulsating heart. See a little bit of scales it. chip off, yep. maybe. Second swing. Okay, that one is 25 to hit. Yes. 11. That looks good. 20. 26. 32. 37. Vulnerable. Oh, God. That's double damage. <laughs> the double damage would be from the blade, right? Or from the blade. The fire damage would be. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, so another 11. Uh, yeah, minus the 11. So 22 for the blade. Mm-hmm. And then 11. Fire. Uh. By the way, Devin, I realized something. When you're ready. Well, we're getting a good chance to... Uh, How much was the fire damage, sorry? 11. Okay. Can you remove the uh, my uh, my flurry of blows? Yeah, no problem. I made a mistake and that was an additional extra action that I shouldn't have been yep, able to take. No, no worries. 
Uh, okay, so after carving this thing, after carving this thing up with your axe, you get it. You the, the the hook of the axe and gets lodged uh, kind of in the the flesh of the leviathan. And when you yank it out, parts of its scales and exterior skin come out with it. As you can see, this kind of glowing um, metallic. Uh, Should I grab it? I have card-like thing, which is currently embedded in its in its beating heart, that you can kind of just manage to see through the gouge that you've caused. Will it require an action to grab? Yes, because I think you did a double move to get there, yeah. and then I used my action attacked. surge. So you moved, used your action surge to move again. Yes, and then you attacked. I have you have well, then I have one more. But a, but interacting with an object usually isn't a bonus action. Mm, okay, I have that's one. what I'm asking. It would require an action to grab it. All right, you gotta like get in there. So I don't have that. I can still hit it to get to look yes, it even yeah. further and make can it, do it that. easier that's for right. somebody else to grab it. That's right. Mm-hmm. So I will take my last swing. Critical. With Blood a critical thieves. hit! <laughs> my first one. Blood thieves. And then. You dare! Why do they always say that? So, <laughs> I, I, 19. Yeah, still the blood Everybody is still. Well, well, still. So, 19 doubled. Okay. Oh. So, wait a minute. This is not yet. So, 38 plus. Wait, did you roll again? Plus 14. Okay. Okay. That and then uh, seven uh, plus eight, fifteen more. Ooh. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Hot stop. Hot stop. Hot stop. Hot stop. I need the card. Lowell's just hanging off the scale, being like, down into my hand. Hey, I'm just saying. Lowell's just hanging off the scale, being like, "Well done." <laughs> I do think the card. Is. <laughs> about to love to see. Uh, no, but at this point it has kind of been opened up, and it would be, like you said, significantly easier for someone to grab. Come on, there, everybody. Uh, it is Merrick's turn. <laughs> grab your card, though. Do it. All right. Uh, well, unless I just not, try and go up and hit I it. do not need the credit for grabbing okay. the card. Well, they're all Let's save the world. Violent. All right. So, mm-hmm. move action. They are. I mean, you got this, but I just can't resist. Like, I've got this sword. Like, I just oh, gotta yeah, at least true. get one attack in before I, you know, I have extra actions. Cause, you know, sure, extra yeah, actions yeah. To say, hey, so I am, as a bonus action, uh, casting. Uh, actually, I'm, I won't do that because I, I have uh, Banishing Smite. Mm. But the last thing we want to do oh, at this God. point is accidentally banish yeah, it if, you, if you've <laughs> actually almost killed it. It only triggers if it's if it's really weak, but it might be really Please weak now. Save that for us. No, exactly. So I'm saving that. Um, but I am just being like, okay. And part of what you see is like, Merrix has like little sort of glowing runes around his arms, like clearly that are sort of guiding yeah. his attack. He's not really using physical strength for this. Yeah, but, like, but he get does him, get like, him, like Merrix, get him. lift the shield, like, okay. Go for the back. Is going to Bam. Stab. Yep, flick your wrist. Yep. That's a uh, throw your hip into it. Pretend you're throwing turtle soup. I want to say that. Hey, Merrick. Pretend you're throwing turtle soup. All right, like I just got to see what this is like. This is, this is the great first time. He's first learning. time I have made a melee attack in this entire... Oh, yeah, no. I so it so it do it, do it. All right. Uh, <laughs> that is a natural 20. <laughs> All right, this, this thing did not stand a this chance. Is a <laughs> because I am throwing Arcane Jolt in, which adds another four dice of damage. Uh, may I borrow one of my red dice? Absolutely. For, okay, so uh, there's a whole Boy, lot of stuff happening. This is so exciting. All right, my now, first melee attack, 20. Seriously, because I have not made a melee attack in a million years, remind me with things like like bonus damage, like the fire damage and such, is it roll the dice twice? Yes, or is yes it just that's right. All okay, dice so rolling is There's going to be a lot of dice. So first, just for the actual physical sword. Merrick's. That's a good feeling, isn't it? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, I see why you guys like this. And we don't double, like, the, the stat bonus or anything, no, do we? just the Okay, dice. so that is 13 slashing damage for the sword. Okay. Then... Which it which is doubled, because it's... No, no, no. You rolled it twice. That I did, I did. Right. Well, it's well, double because of... It's double because of... Uh, but but you, made it, you made it vulnerable, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's 26, then. Okay, so we got that going for us, which is nice. I'm adding the Archangel, and is that doubled? 
All, all, all damage. damage. All damage, all damage dice. dice. Okay, so that is another 17, uh, that's base 17, hang on. Uh, 17 plus 10, 27 force damage. Then I'm gonna add some- Wait, wait, clear! By the, by the way, just as an aside, I, I am so excited about dice and doubling my dice that I forgot my uh, my 12 extra slashing damage from my hits that game naturally. Okay. I was only counting dice. Hey, that's it! No, but... Uh, hey, your attack is all fine. Okay, so we hit that force damage, yep. and now, now the sword crackles into uh, lightning. Uh, nice. Oh, there's another sweet slashing damage would come six. I forgot the yeah. the modifier on the sword because this is a sweet sword. It is. Uh, and with the and uh, with the bonus of of critical hit, that is ten. Uh, <laughs> ooh, there we go. Twenty. Uh, Twenty-seven additional lightning damage. Then the thunder damage. So so Merrick. Sword has yeah. thunder damage. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's about. Yeah, yeah, okay. As you thundering as you bring the sword into the beast and fell it, explain to me how all of this occurs. This is the first time we actually Well I killed. mean I this is our victory. Here. No, well, you're in victory. I'm so, right here underneath it with you. So alright, I mean let's again <laughs> hold my hand as we Phrasing. Yes. Uh so hold my hand chance. So again, Elise comes in just gouges this enormous hole. Merrick's comes in, sort of again, like we said, sort of like, uh, well, it's like that's... okay. And he actually, I think, like does this and kind of like Flinches. looks away and closes his eyes and, <laughs> and just sort of hits it right next to the card. Okay. And, and just all just, this yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> and all the like, sh- 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 like lightning falls out, everything scatters, and the card drops down, drops together. <laughs> Uh, good teamwork, my friend. Yes. And awesome. What happens to oh. Binky here? Its dying body surges itself into okay. the card. But as it does, because I still got uh. the object interaction and I've been waiting for this, I grab a tiny flask and I try and get some of the blood that has been flowing out from the wounds. Because I'm okay. totally a blood thief, man. Yeah. I sure. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah. Right. So I'm just tucking that in my in my. Yeah, but it's life. diluted in seawater. Of course. So so that I, source is better. I climb up back to Fizzbe. So uh, was, so see, was, see why I hang around with him. That was have... quite marvelous. I I must say, do you want some popcorn? Yeah, I would love some. As uh, as Maris, it's a little salty. <laughs> as it's dissipating right. though, the whole hold on to its like skelly hide, and the whole goes. <laughs> yeah, did you fall into the water? He did like a cheer for Merrick's and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the water and you see him crawling out with his arm. Yeah, and it's like, uh, no, 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 there's airy water there. Because that's automatic from the pipe. I, I, oh, thank you. I gotta ask, have you just been carrying this thing the whole time? Yeah. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> Wizards. <laughs> Wizards. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm more the shy, quiet, academic type. If you know, so I'm shy, then you can call me a dove. I am happy to <laughs> dove for you, sir. Oh, lordy lord. Actually, dove so, looks a little different this year. Oh, that's damage. Let's do it together. That was ridiculous. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. That so... I'm holding the very creepy gesture. Yes. As an action, you may brandish it to cast the Otto's Irresistible Dance spell, and you have advantage on con saves to maintain concentration on it. Wow. Ooh. Otto's. Okay. I gotta say, what I like about this whole stabbing thing is right? it's not like mysteriously, it just doesn't happen the first couple the times. This is do it. real. It just, you know, it's yeah, that, that, It's a little bit addicting it. after a while. Yeah. Yes. All right, I gotta try that again. Now, one of these days, it's one of these days we'll have to put you on the Pegasus and try. Yeah. Yeah. I want to try this smiting thing. I, I feel like I could, I could give that a try. Yeah, but she's also, got a bag of so much for treating. It, it hides up his rear end. Well, hang around for a moment. I know that it's there. I just want to see the sword Everybody's talking. I'm sorry. I appreciate that. It was very sweet of you. <laughs> that was well struck. I rather enjoyed that. Would you like a candy bar? Oh yes, I would. Well, there you go. Does it have branding or is it just? Uh, what do we got? This is this a fizz bar? It's a fizz band's fabulous fizz bar. <laughs> there you oh, go. Right. Oh, all in it. Fizz bar. Okay, we're going to talk about this. Uh, finally got that Snickers. If I can get some licensing, <laughs> if you don't mind licensing this, a Galanda would go literally nuts. Are there nuts in it? Uh, it's as nutty as I am. Because, you know, I'm just saying, they <laughs> would go nuts for it. What? Peg- Pegasus. What about it? I would like to see the Pegasus. He pulls up the little figurine. 
Oh, well, uh, no, no, no. I have to say, you kind of, you know, no, no, fucked no. it up quite a little bit. It does things. <laughs> oh, my! Branko goes up and, like, nuzzles and, bubble, like, rides it over. I'm going to pet it now. Of course. Very this is good. Banquo. Banquo, this is fit. That's a nice Pegasus. Very. Would you like some, <laughs> some salt licks? <laughs> I carry a few of them in my pouch. <laughs> you never know when you'll meet a Pegasus that wants to have some salt. <laughs> <laughs> Salty Pegasus. I am saying. name for a tavern. The Salty Pegasus. Yeah, the Salty Pegasus. On the seashore. Mm. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, Love it. It, it. It's going in my book. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I do have to say I'm sad because I thought if the fight was going to go longer, I do. I, I saved my, my thing at custard. I was totally going to try and feed it custard since you said it was it didn't like custard. But alas. But anyhow. Well, that was fun. It was. Yes. Do you want to come with us to the... No, oh, I'm afraid I shan't. Oh. Uh, I have other things to attend. Could you I... tell us where the card is in, in, in Atis, since you know everything, all-knowing, oh, fabulous, I, this I, one? I, no one ever said I was all-knowing. I think you are. Uh, we just said... You're welcome to think it all you like. We know we have to go to Yurik. Yeah. Where would the... How about this? In, instead of all-knowing, perhaps an educated guess on where you would... If we were to I hear Loholt's great at those. Educated guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. So. Well. That was funny. You're a jokester. I like you. You're all right. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, need, you need a beard, though. Oh, you can't, you that, can't do the comic thing okay. without the beard. But the problem... The I mean... Problem, in, the problem is to get cut in gears, you know, and yes, that, really, yeah, that, yeah, that is really true, I yes, suppose. It does. But you know what you should do then is you should uh, get some of that beard gel. I make some if you want it. I make it myself, and then you just do this, and you get the big curly beard thing. It was all the rage in the it's second custard. age. You like don't it. trust him. It's but, uh, bees back can off. I actually? Uh, can I actually give you one of my candy bars? Well, yes, what is this? I mean, it's the Baron, but, you know, bar on. Oh, oh, yeah. I thought you were going to call it, like, a Mare's Bar or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm still trying it out. I just, you know, it's a little, a little alchemical pep for your staff. He, he brings out uh, a bowl of butterscotch, dips it thoroughly, mm -hmm. and then eats it. What do you think? The butterscotch helps. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll try that. I'll make a butterscotch. Add then. some to it. I'll do it. But the Venetians just like the Venetians are on their ships, just kind of like looking. You see them doing this. You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> Uh, you maybe don't want to talk to them too much. They might be a little aggressive that you're on their shores. Uh, so, we so speaking of which... Well, yeah, that's probably why they haven't shot at you yet. I have a question for you one more. Oh, more with the questions. Listen, there's not a lot of times I get to just talk to Fisbeth. <laughs> Fisbeth! Hey, hey, hey. You know, flattery will get you everywhere. Oh, wonderful. Speaking of getting us everywhere. Uh -huh. Oh, I sense a favor coming on. What do you think, because you are so annoying? I never said I was all no, annoying. I, didn't. I said it. You did, that's true. What do you think uh, we should go? Should we be going directly to Athens or should we be trying to. Uh, last time we were in Athens, it was very bad. And we made bad decisions <laughs> in everybody. I mean, it was only a couple You of days made ago. bad decisions? I would never think such a thing possible. We got, we got things fact, accomplished. We got things accomplished. It's all about it with the entertainment. Mm -hmm. So am I. It yes. was the guy with the spear. But so maybe it wasn't the us. The guy with the spear. We're talking about Melf. <laughs> it wasn't us, but I didn't want to they talk about it. They refer to Melf Bright Flame as the guy with the spear. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, if you hang around look, with him, as much as we have, they, they, we, we've seen him take. Sure, it's so, it distills it down to his very essence. Right? I suppose that's true. <laughs> yeah. Back to my question. Do we go directly there? Should we go to Sigil first? What do you think? What do I think? I think many things. We should go to Sigil. Why? It's a silly place. It really is, but then again, so is everywhere else in the multiverse. I'm just saying, we don't need a rent. Have you ever really no. taken a step back and look at just how the multiverse works? It really is quite silly. It's as if it was all designed by a bunch of people sitting around a big lake and deciding what should and shouldn't be good. 
It's a beautiful lake I've here. Yes. I mean, we know we got this. I think it's cold in the winter. Actually, funnily <laughs> enough, we have a couple of wizards sitting on a coastline. Drive your car on. We are the wizards of the coastline. Yes. <laughs> we should go back to Sigil to look up information with. And get a long rest. Well, I don't need to look I at all the spells. Well, I did get. Yeah, spells. Yeah, I believe we did get. Well, I don't know how much more time we have. We are yeah. rotting very short Maybe. time. But here's the thing: if you're not going to tell us exactly where to go, we don't know exactly where to go. Don't we? It's You've always city. known exactly where to go. I've heard you use the word Yurik on Atlas. That sounds pretty specific. Yeah, city of Yurik. We've known from the very beginning. Yeah, but it's a city. But, We're in the city. but we've never had that kind of thing. We're always ending up 10 miles away but from a place. We've never had a chance to talk to oh, Fizzbin either. Saying, I'm Hello. just saying, if Fizzbin will tell us, yeah. that's amazing. And he is all knowing from well, what I've heard. That's what people say. So yeah. that's got to mean something. Yeah, exactly. That's what happen. people say. If they tell me he's all knowing, I'm just saying, uh, that, well, he's yeah, not. Oh, oh, you, you naughty <laughs> wizard, you. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, that's what I am. That's the definition of Elminster. I'm just saying, if it turns out he's not, I don't see we have to go back to Fell. We know it's in the city. Fell's not going to get us closer than that. Fair enough. He never has. So, are you all knowing? Do you know where in your I know many things. Do you know yeah. where we need to go in I know a great recipe for spiced turtle. I, I'm very curious about that, but do you know where we need to go in Yurik? In Yurik? Mm, well, you see, I don't really deal much with uh, with uh, them. the desert world of Athos. It's sort of, um... You it's no. I never said I was all knowing. He Respected. Never, never said he did. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's really up. Is, if we so go either. for this card at Athos next, right. would we be doing the wrong thing? Why don't Real? we? Do that we depends what the right thing is, wouldn't it? And what is the right thing? Well, the right thing would be to ensure that you are successful and are ready to be as such. Yes. Isn't this how this Lord Lord rest. Rest. At this came out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lord Rest. Try Why? Where do we, we have to get back? Uh, I have all the higher level spell slots to get back. Didn't you I'll just... tell you what. Well, what? No. Why don't you give me the benefits of the Lord Rest? Uh, well, well, <laughs> last time I did that, I woke up not remembering what had happened. Uh, Panties of feather falling. Really? <laughs> well, hold that, hold that thought. <laughs> um... I do right. a reading, you see. This is why I'm asking. It. Well, this is why I was... Listen, I've heard you do these readings that are really creepy. Oh, Every time no. you need to know where to go. You haven't done it yet. I've been trying to just sort of gently push you in the direction of the reading, because I kind of want to see it, but now it feels awkward because I'm asking aloud for it. Okay, but here's the problem, and I will do this reading, but the last time I did the reading, it said, do not go there yet. Right, and you haven't gone there yet, so you're doing very well. <laughs> I just... Brilliant! Oh. No, oh, if it brilliant. was time yet, and I thought maybe you could tell me if it was time. Why don't you, you cut the deck this yeah. time? Would you like me to cut the... Ooh, I do love cutting things. <laughs> I need to mix it more. I feel like... <laughs> the last time I cut my deck, uh, my mother-in-law almost fell off. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> the barbecue... <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, <laughs> were you trying to do the cheese on the barbecue again? <laughs> it's supposed to be good. You put some aluminium around it. Aluminium? Who's Your mother? Like that? Your mother in law? Okay, cut the deck. <laughs> Jesus. You've broken the basket. <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh! But I don't know which one's on top. Which one goes on top? On top. Put, uh, left the left. This on yeah, top of yeah. this. No, that's what well, you just cut it. <laughs> well, it's way much. That's what this, one, this, this one. one. Yes, let me said. Shush, 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 shush. Okay, and if it doesn't come up with with three platinum dragons, we're I'm going home. Why would you think that? I'm glad that dragon. No, no, I mean, it's, okay. it's oh, that's a kind of coin. Watch you have push your tray forward. The question. Platinum dragons. I thought. The question I... is: <laughs> Are we going directly to Athos. Athos, or are we going somewhere else? Sigil. Just, just, just do the reading. <laughs> yes, get on with it. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Fred card is like if you if you get me, I am I am gonna freak out. Like oh, I, I actually will stop something. stop the yeah, party. That would be if really you get disturbing. if you get Merrick's. Don't do this. No, I'm <laughs> 
Oh, a snot barracks. What is that card? It's the grounding card. It's a symbol on it is an anchor, but it is a place that is uh, the place where we feel the most grounded. This could be Sigil, but also I feel like it could be a Maria. Oh, this is wild. This is financial security and tax security, and here's the thing. <laughs> That's important, yes! I feel like, well, first of all, financial security could mean a lot of different things. Well, financial security also means social security. Because <laughs> if you're secure financially, you're also secure socially, because everybody and your friends okay, will respect you. Okay, so you both have me. Uh, a doesn't she? We should not yeah, no idea. That's where we feel like Secure. maybe we will not be um, welcome with financial dealings, right. which also makes me think, don't go to yeah. Sigil. Sigil. I, I, I'm just wow. pointing out, like, we're on wanted posters in Sigil. <laughs> we're, like, I mean, I just I, don't see what we can right. do. Like I agree. I, I did, I'm, I'm with you. I do not feel grounded in Sigil right now, is what I'm saying. We are the most grounded, though, in Sigil, but it is Destiny card. Yeah, but I, you like, have great advice. What do you think? Rather than any sayings, I could say that we have been away from our homeland for a while, and I don't know if I ever mentioned why I was there. I feel a little, but you must know. We are in a very critical time. We are facing a similar threat that we had faced 20 years ago. And granted, we have put in place, or we have in place a lot of contingencies, but the entire purpose of the Solar Bastion was to protect Imaria and other worlds from these intruders, from the whale. And I'm afraid we being my, the only one at the time anyways of our order, we have been away for a while and I'm scared what could happen if we don't go back and make sure that we didn't have any slip-ups. I have definitely just respond to that. Of just, course. I agree. This is why I am... I would like to move. Time is passing on our world. We saw your world is at war. We saw my magic is dying. If we don't need to, I don't see I feel going back to Sigil. We're just going to get caught up in some crazy burning thing. But this does... We know this is a moment about you. We know we need to feel grounded. I don't see what we would get from going back to Amaria, but could you call Lulu up on your sword and see what... You know, I mean, I'm just saying. Give me a moment. Uh, I'll, I'll make my way to the shoreline. Uh, I wait from the distraction of laughing. I think that's the big K. And I'll stab the sword. Yeah, big K. Yeah, right. Just like special K. Use my ancestral recall, tap into some level of chronomancy to tap my and just lean into the sword again and be like, Chromaris, can you reach me in Kryn? Uh, yeah. Have you spoken to Thalagrantus? Yes. They're very annoyed, but agree this is of utmost importance. Is it ready for us to come back now? Mm. You may want to ensure you have taken every step necessary. There is a darkening here. If you come sending you out, I don't know. What? We're not with you. Right. So you see all like trouble. It's like, mm. what's going on over there, kid? Coop chat. Yeah. <laughs> There are problems in Amaria. The decision is tough. What did Crimeris say? He said, If you go <laughs> <laughs> He said that if, if we go into Amaria, he may not be able to get us out. So we have to go to Athos first, get the right. card. And then go. I agree. Yeah. Seems okay. like appropriate for us. Well, if we're going to go to Athos... Yes. Um. You, my boy. Come, look, come, come here. There is a gentleman who wants to speak to you. To me. 
Yes, he was here a little bit ago as well. Had an interest in the card and the Leviathan. I sent him on a wild goose chase. But he's likely to be back any moment now. Uh, you would probably do well to meet this individual. Given some of the things I've heard you say recently. Meet what him here or in that? Oh, he'll be back here shortly. We I told him to go question. around the entire island. It was hilarious. Should I be expecting someone dangerous or someone I should oh, be wary? No, but uh, give it a good... Uh, uh, well, yeah, uh, right about now, I should say. Oh, oh hey, I see that too. <laughs> Yeah, the, the foresight and all that. Very disturbing. And um, he gestures to some bushes. <laughs> well, I might have been a bit off. Hold on. Any hello. seconds now. As you point, he went middle of the... Oh, hello. To the bush? To the bush. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Hold on. And then the bushes begin to move. And, ah, there, there we are. Uh, whoop, uh, <laughs> and uh, emerging forth is a very weathered individual, um, very tan skin. Uh, you can see the, the lines of hard travel. Um, chestnut hair, kind of short, but pulled back in a way. So it is still kind of, kind of like a lion's mane being pulled away from the face. Uh, large mutton chops that come down to the side, but kept nice and cropped, just very wide. Um, uh, yellow collars coming up to the side and down, uh, filling out an Akaton and, and Gambeson with uh, s very sky blue armor of, uh, of steel plate uh, wrapping around the, the yellow, uh, emblazoned with that of a stylized depiction of a sun, mm -hmm. as well as a golden shield and a, uh, a, a long sword kept at their side. Uh, emerges this figure who strides forward. Now listen, you crazy wizard, you've sent me all around here. The Solar Bastion will not accept such tomfoolery. Tell me where the card disturbance is, and I shall be on my way. Ah, yes, it. This is the guy. I'm sorry, what did you say? Huh? Uh. Ah. I see we have a full party of individuals who look like your standard adventuring party. Uh, show him the Solar Bastion badge. Like, I'll hold up our badges. Interesting. I, I was not aware you were members of the Solar Bastion. Was see one of yours. Well, we, and were you sent to be by reinforcements? Yeah, what's, uh, just, just as a quick uh, insight, uh, is his surprise... We've just seen Jarlaxle in a previous thing. Like, is his surprise like, oh, I didn't realize you were sent to me at my reinforcements, or, oh, shit, I didn't realize anyone was actually, you know, the Solar Bastion. Sure. You know, anyone else would pretend to be this. Uh, I think around a 22. It's a little bit of both. He, he seems genuinely surprised that, that, he, that there would be a number of people claiming that in front of him. Like, he just, he's kind of like looking at everybody, and you see, I, you think it's like. Uh, stands behind and then just puts his hand on the shoulder. I am the abbot of Solar Bastion. Which, which order are you speaking of? I am the Sir. La hmm? I am the last abbot, to be more clear. I am Sir Jarrett, the Solar Bastion, one of the servants of Hilarion. Is this the living of Arian to me? Nope. Which Hilarion? Hilarion, the Solar of that oh, Hilarion. Is this another oh, Solar? What is this? Gem. Oh, I never got that. We are an order dedicated to rooting out evil across the multiverse, specifically that brought out by the deck of many things and the chaos that it wreaks. I have been tracking some unrest that has been popping up on some of our discoveries and. This old crazed fool, yes, that's me, was telling me that if I went to the other end of the island, I'd find what I seek, and it would appear that there was some deception at play. I, I think you've got this entirely wrong. We are the Solar Bastion under the Abbot, dedicated to finding the uh, cards spread across the multiverse and stopping the chaos. That they, I mean, that's literally, we've been doing that for, for like, days now. Are you like 15 cards now? Which world do you hail? The Solar Bastion. Wait, wait, wait. Do you have, like, any cards? 
Like, have you actually found any? Because we've got a bunch. We keep some in the vault from various worlds that we've pulled them from. Oh, my. Kept away from the Grim Harrow. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very confused. I'm yes. not a wingander. Uh, yes. I, I acolyte to my good friend Inadak. And you are a fellow uh, servant of Hilarion and the Solar Bastion. What is your soldier recognizing number? Inaday looks very confused and stares at you. I'm not aware of any other orders to have existed. I, I, we are rather I, scattered at the moment. Uh, we don't have much of a full military front, is true. Well, that's why I'm you doing were this aware. Sort. You were aware that there are other branches. You were aware that... How did you... Did you communicate with each other? Did you know of these other branches? Were you aware of what was happening to each one? We do sometimes keep tabs on those we place out, uh, the scouts, to ensure that uh, things that we discover and look into are satisfied. Some of them do not return, and we do send more out to usually try to discover what has happened. Are you perhaps uh, from a squadron that was sent out and was waylaid and lost their way? It, it can be difficult to return to the Bastion if you do not have your word of recall. I am from the Solar Bastion on Imaria. From where? It's, uh, if I may, uh, just saying, this, this plane, Amaria, world, Amaria, whatever you want to call it, this is actually an issue. This is, this has been, uh, off of the maps of Sigol. It wasn't recognized. There's a, a veil that has been shielding it, so perhaps someone came to your world and couldn't get out because of the veil. Your solar bastion headquarters, where? <laughs> Which world does it reside on? The Solar Bastion. <laughs> um, I'm so, I'm, I'm, it stands a... upon a disc that rotates around a sun far off in the astral sea. DM, uh, yes. I'm the silent scatterbrain right now, but the founding father or founding uh, Acharya, which is the name, proper name for the teachers. Yes. What is his name again? Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> I don't have my laptop with me, so... I can get that to you. Yes. But it's not Hilarion. It was not Hilarion. And it's not this guy. Who and it was Hilarion? not this guy. A god from a realm? He called him a solar. Maybe that just meant, like, he was the boss of the solar bastion? Like, the solar? Mm. Uh, da, 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 da. Angel. Solar. Race. Celestial race. A celestial race. Yeah. A Dasuraskar. Adi Surikar was our founding father and our Dalalai, our Acharya teacher, the one who gave us the way oh, of night wow. house. Adisuraskar was a great knight of the Solar Bastion over a thousand years ago. His tale is legendary. He went missing on a sojourn to recover the Book of Vile Darkness. I, you see him for the first time. No day who has been very calm and collected and almost jovial, despite being the last of his kind, start to shake. I have been searching, and waiting, and, and seeking, and with no answer, stumbling in the dark and trying to figure out how we can re or redo our order, thinking I was alone. And here you are, with, you just show up and tell me that we've always existed, we always were here, and no contact, no check-in. You say he was a hero, and yet... I am where sorry. Are you? He was sent out to the outskirts after evil, and we lost contact and had no way to know where he went. Well, he was investigating some fiendish energies that we detected, but there was nothing further after he lost contact. It was not worth the not worth the manpower that it would take to send an assault force. Your decision it wasn't mine. It was Hilarion. Your order's decision. Because of it, we have faced 
do. We have seen, I had to see my entire order blown out of the sky. I had to see my loved ones die around me. I had to see my own partner die. Oh, do you know what it's like taking your last breath over a century? Elongating your last breath so just so you can explain as much as you can. I cannot claim to know such a thing. And I feel for your loss, but such is the nature of our order and the quest against evil. Well, your oversight may have doomed us all because he has it. Who has what? Thrasal. He has the Book of Evil. The Book of Vile Darkness has resurfaced. As we were keeping it. We were protecting it for centuries, millennia. Adi Surikar found the book. And you not seeking us out. We had to be alone. We thought we were the last, of, the only of our kind. And we protected it as long as we could. But when we had no one, he resurfaced and he took it. And here you stand in front of me as if though it is... I don't know what to say. I cannot undo the suffering you have withstood in the name of our order. What I can do is take you with me to report back to Hilarion and you can rejoin the order that you have sworn your fealty to. And I have sworn my fealty to my order. I don't know which one you are. Be that as it may, you carry the seal. You carry the sigil. And in your heart, you carry our order's tenets. Come with me. Let me show you what you have missed. And we can set things right. Imidic. Hearing that breaks even my heart. But all I would say is thinking of your master who founded your order, how much good they brought to that world in the time they were there. I know the loss is tragic. They never look at the one thing you can change, look back at all the things that you did in that time and all the deeds in your book, those people. He seemed like, take a deep breath. You're right. <laughs> I thought I had controlled or at least gotten over these feelings, but you are right. There is nothing that can be changed. Only the path forward. Spoken it like is, a true knight of the bastion. But it is my decision on how I take this path. I will come with you, but I need proof that you are capable. I need proof that you have the same valor and the abilities and the drive that my people had. I don't know who you actually are. You can have... I've been distributing these as I see fit. I don't know where you picked your... Uh, your... Sign from, but... I will define sense just to ensure. Uh, He's a fiend! And I like the ensign as well. Mm -hmm. If you wish to have me, and then uh, when he, he stands up straight, and for the first time, around his, where he, his, uh, 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 uh has been, at that being held up, he had a, a belt. And you see him reach and then unclasp, and within it, it almost like it's a sheep, pull out a sword that is of ribbon-like nature. It is a, a, almost like a, like three ribbons in one. Prove to me that you are of the Solar Bastion. And if I find enough proof and enough repentance for your oversight and mistake, I will come with you. Tis a dark day. Two knights of the Order must cross blades outside of training. But I sense this is something you need. 
Um, as for you, Low Holt, you're not getting any kind of outsiderish, fiendish nature. Um, in fact, you're actually getting kind of a paladin sense. Mm. Mm. Game respects, and you know, <clears throat> game sees game. <laughs> if you will choose the ribbon blade, then I shall choose. And he reaches out with one hand as a beam of sunlight forms a spear. The sun spear. This blade was hers. And I did not expect to use it on a fellow brother, but if it is the, what I need to do. And I go into my time balance in the stance. Fizz Band passes the popcorn. <laughs> I dig in. <clears throat> I don't even eat. So, real quick, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to, I'm going to, we're going to oppose initiative rolls to see who gets the first attack in. My hand is on his shoulder, so. <laughs> plus seven best. Will you will you accept that plus seven? I gently tap the shoulder and on your hand and I said, This is my fight in this mink. Take it off. That is a fourteen. Oh. Sorry, an eight. Eight. I've got a thirteen. So though you move into your time dilation stance, the sunbeam moves quickly and with great efficiency as a solar flare unleashes forth from the night's fleet. Uh, I will need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, while I'm in my stance, uh, I get advantage on all my saving throws. Uh, so that is 28. 28. Okay. You only take 22 radiant damage and you are not blinded, but it does hide the spear that comes around on the other side, uh, which comes into you with a 23. To hit? Yes. Yeah, hit it. Okay. Uh, then you're looking at 21 radiant damage. Okay. Followed closely by a second attack at 21 to hit. Hits. For another 21 radiant damage. As he flourishes with the sun spear behind him, the shield in his front, and the <laughs> blaring aura of sunlight pouring off of behind his blue armor. Then show me what you have now. So by being in my stance, as he makes the final attack, you see him flinch, but immediately, as a reaction, bring up the ribbon sword and a slash across mm -hmm. to hit. As of my reaction. Uh, that is a, it's a plus two blade, right? Yes. Is that to the, That's right. Is that a two the initiative? I mean, to the to the attack roll. Yes. To attack roll. Uh, so that is uh, nineteen. Okay. You see him bring the sun spear up, and the blade wraps around it. You're not bad. Don't patronize me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I will go to attack. I thought you were going to think it away from him. Uh, as as one of my actions. I would like to yank it out of his hand. Okay. And disarm. Him. Yeah. Uh, I, what do I roll for this again? An attack roll. Okay. Uh, 15. 15? Sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah. 15. 15. Uh, I only got a 10. So, goes the sun blade as it dematerializes and it reappears in his hand. And then my. Second attack, flurry of blows. Mm -hmm. uh, 19 to hit. Once again, you come at him and he just brings the shield up and deflects you away. Oh, well, that was the first one. And then 18 to hit. He tucks down and does a roll under your feet as you kind of come towards him mm -hmm. as he pops up behind you. <clears throat> and then stunning strike. Ooh. That is a 26. As he comes up behind you, you are able to do a backwards kick directly into him. And he ceases movement. And as I see him cease, I pull up the blade, put it under his, uh, wrap it around or on his shoulder. I acquiesce. You fight well. I fight as I was taught. 
You've proven yourself to be one of our order. And he dissipates the spear and rests his hand on the sword. Come with me. Hilarion will want to know everything you have to say. As for the rest of you, it appears our missions align. They are of us. They have taken the badge. They are of the Order. I will take this one with me. You shall give us a brief rundown of everything you have done and what has been accomplished and of the situation. He wants me to have the habit with you. That's right. Popcorn? No, thank you. Okay. Once we've ascertained the true nature of the threats and your own quest, we will see if we can send you some assistance. You said you had cards. We have many cards locked away to ensure they do not fall into the hands of the Grim Harrow Are or they to any... skull cards? Yeah. Mostly. Well, quick point of clarification. These aren't the cards we are looking for. Are they their other versions right. of the deck? Yeah. So it's not they're like they have skull, all skull cards. Yeah. I see. I see. Never mind. I thought it was a quick, easy way to complete no. this deck. <laughs> <laughs> not the chance. <laughs> um, one thing you noticed that as he was battling, initially he was tense and out of form and was the reason why he was like missing all his shots. And, and you could see it's part of it, part of it was him just processing it in his motions. And when he finally acquiesced, he was back to his calm self from before. I gotta say, observing the others, I'm pretty sure I can speak to say I think all of us were initially tense, wanting to help. No. Oh, I was couldn't. at the range. You know, she had her like, heart okay. on. And I will say that Merex actually initially was that way. And as things went on, actually just stopped and was doing things. And it's because Merrick has foresight. Mm. So he actually saw, he's like, no, no, he's got this. I also think that, um, I know that we were trying to determine where we were supposed to go. But this this card that I associate so much with Lohold, I associate with Amaria. The first thing that I said is Amaria, Amaria, and this is something that you can do to be back with your roots from Amaria, your order is your grounding. You have not had any security. Maybe this is what it was trying to tell me and I just didn't know. You know, we didn't know this guy. Again, creepy AF. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? I would just... One moment, please. I would just say, we're always going to be in the order. We definitely want uh, you know, we'll we'll make much. Uh, you know, much much has happened once uh once the universe is safe. You know what he gave you. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, uh, but it has been an honor. It has been traveling at my friends, my fellow students. I will wear this badge proudly. And you see, like an actual, genuine tear come across. He hands you a scroll <laughs> of turtle soup. Thank you. You might, you might He's need it. It's very good. I became one after. <laughs> uh, if I cannot eat it, I will make sure many can try. All I can say is this journey has been the most enlightening and most wonderful time in the last 20, no, more than that, probably last, last century that I've had a long time. And I must say, your journey is vital <clears throat> and is going to succeed and I will see you on the other side. <clears throat> One last thing. That badge is more just a trinket. It is a mark both good and perhaps a little bad. Thrasil aimed to destroy our order because to use the Book of Vile Deeds he needed to make sure that none of us survived. He thought he got everyone except for me, and we have been chasing each other, and I have been hiding from him since, because I didn't know when he would come and attack, and if I was gone, and not knowing that there was another order out there, that then he will succeed because he will have no one to protect or stop, or, or to stop him. He may mark you as well, if that badge is on you, but it also means that our order is strong and dispersed. I don't know about the rest of you, but 
Marius is certainly like tapping the badge and, mm-hmm. you know, clearly like we're mm-hmm. keeping it yeah. there. Come at me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do the uh, Goodbye, my friend in no day. Goodbye, the bravest one. Your heart will f- will not fall and teach them all to be better in the end. We'll fight with drive and freedom until this quest does end. You'll be our guiding light and sun, your friend Solar Bastion. It has been an honor. That was wonderful. Yes. You see? Never ends. And I will say, when at some point in this solar bastion beyond there, you do actually look at it. It's not what you might expect. It is, in fact, Lohold singing with Black Marion and us all performing together with him. But like an old CD in the day, if you wait long enough, the secret track is... Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that is, that is totally the secret track. <laughs> so does he go anywhere? You play it back. Yeah, yeah, so are you ready? <laughs> Indeed. And as I reach out, I say, practice well, my students. Mm. And I point to you and at the pan- like make the hand gesture for the pamphlet. Mm. You'll be surprised if you finish the book what it can do. Let us go. Recall. And a sunbeam... Wait a second. His they... word of recall is recall? That is like the most... That's like naming your password password. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Once again. How about that? You stand around in a dull old rock at the right place at the right time and you get to see a hell of a show. <laughs> Come with us. You'll see a lot. Wow, I've got far too many other things. Uh... I've got this whole... I'm trying to figure out how to make spearmint custard. I think I'm almost there. Are we going to ask? Juice powder. Ask us to just I hadn't I mean, thought of that. Some there, sir. Perhaps Fizban. Sorry. Great Fizban. <clears throat> Fizban the Fabulous. Could you take us to Atlas? Or at least open uh, it. It would preserve the magic of Elminster, and gosh knows we need it when we get there. Please, just in Dandalus, just for me. Oh. I'll bring Storm Oper for an evening. Very well then, let's get this onwards. Uh, very add good. One last note, which is Elisa, I mean, Elise just said, at us with just four. And Merrick would tap the tattoo and say, they're still with us. Very good. Every one of you just line up, like stand in the center. Now slide to the right. Now slide to the left. No. Oh, very well. 